Congratulations, you are now hackable animals. Commencement speeches are usually an occasion to give graduates advice. I think you already got enough good advice from your teachers, so instead, I would like to ask for your help in dealing with an unprecedented challenge to humanity. The most important thing to know about the 21st century is that humans are becoming hackable animals. You've probably heard many times that your smartphone can be hacked, your computer, your bank account. But the real game changer is that soon, at least some corporations and governments could hack your body and your brain too. Throughout history, human souls were an unfathomable black box. Parents knew their children well, and lovers could sometimes peer into each other's hearts. But the knowledge gathered by priests, merchants, and tyrants always remained only skin deep. Alexander Solzhenitsyn describes a Soviet conference in Stalin's day when the audience clapped their hands enthusiastically to applaud Stalin. After a few minutes of clapping, everybody became very nervous. They were all tired of clapping, but nobody wanted to be the first to stop. With make-believe enthusiasm on their faces, looking at each other with faint hope, the managers and party apparatchiks just went on clapping until their hands hurt and their heads spun. Three minutes, five minutes, ten minutes. After eleven minutes, the director of a paper factory took his life in his hands, stopped clapping and sat down. Immediately, everyone else stopped and sat down too. That very same night, the secret police arrested the director of the paper factory and sent him to the gulag for 10 years. Stalin could force people to smile and clap, but he couldn't know how they actually felt. 21st century Stalins, and there are already quite a few candidates for this job, could know much better. You're coming of age at the precise moment when biology is merging with computer science, when epidemiology gets acquainted with the smartphone, when coronavirus meets Zoom. To really understand what is going on inside you, an external system needs to know a lot of biology, to accumulate a lot of data about you, and to have enough computing power to process all that data. Hitherto, neither the KGB nor the FBI could do it. But soon, at least some governments and corporations will know enough biology, will accumulate enough data, and will have enough computing power to systematically hack everyone. In recent years, governments and corporations have developed surveillance technologies that allow them to know that you are now listening to this. And they can learn something from that about your political views, your artistic tastes, and even your personality. But we are about to enter the era of biometric surveillance, which goes under our skin and into our bodies. Biometric surveillance will enable governments and corporations to know not only that you are listening to this, but also what you actually feel as you listen. Are you afraid? Angry? Doubtful? Imagine that 10 years from now, your narcissistic boss proudly presents his new business plan and all the employees are smiling and clapping their hands in approval. But the biometric bracelet on your wrist tells your boss that you actually think it's the most idiotic business plan you ever saw. Or maybe you are sitting in the bank assuring some computer that we, you will have no problem repaying the mortgage you seek. But the computer's biometric sensors look into your heart and know that you're actually far from certain. This technology will change everything, not only in brutal dictatorships, but also in democracies. You have probably been told many times that the voter knows best, that the customer is always right, that beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, and that you must follow your heart and think for yourself. All this is now doubtful. Once an external system can hack humans and learn their deepest fears and desires, it can convince voters and customers to buy anything it wants, be it a product or a politician. And if you try to just follow your heart, be careful, 
There might be something out there that watches your heart 24 hours a day and knows it much better than you. Your heart might be a double agent. How to live in a world where human beings can be hacked? How to protect democracy, freedom, and the very meaning of human life when a computer algorithm could know us better than our mother or our lover? That's the most complicated challenge your generation faces. Your elders have provided you with the knowledge and values necessary to solve this problem. But they cannot solve it for you. They don't know how. You will have to do it for yourself and for the whole of humankind. We are all counting on you.